Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> oh, anyway. Welcome Wrong. to ICVTS, where we're going to do a long-awaited edition of What Pissed Off Kyle this week. We haven't been doing this as often. It's been, well, because... Or, or What Pissed Off Brett this week. We yeah, we usually, it. we've had our own agendas as of late. I feel like there hasn't been as, yeah, we've had other things going on. Plus, I feel like there haven't been as many things, like memes that or anything that have, like, triggered me to that degree. It's just been real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than that's, me. That's sad. Anyway, um, so, yeah, why were we yelling fake news at the beginning of this? And I don't know if fake news is the best way to describe it, but it's fake well, outrage. It's fake outrage because that's what fake news means now. Fake news yeah. doesn't necessarily mean fake news. It means fake outrage over mm-hmm. something because probably what I, like, what I have realized and decided that in 2019 at this point in the world – if I see everyone screaming about something all at once, I go, this is probably fake outrage. <laughs> whatever the, everyone is – it doesn't even matter. I'm not even talking about any specific thing at this particular moment. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is, I'm just going to wait a little bit for this to die for – for the articles to come out saying like, yeah, this is kind of not really real. So are, you, are you saying you wait for the facts? You know – I, that's crazy that's that you'd ridiculous. say that because I think you might be right about that's that. That's ridiculous. So anyway, what are we talking about? Disappointed in you. We're talking about the last couple weeks where all of a sudden everybody started yelling about the Amazon rainforest. Okay. And let me say, and also wondering why the media is not reporting on it. Right. That's an important... That's the important point. <laughs> yeah, and, and actually you're very right. It's not that people are yelling about the, the Amazon rainforest. They're yelling about the media not covering it. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you so, so what they're talking about the the Amazon rainforest is burning. Like, I, if you were to just believe the rhetoric, you would believe that the entire Amazon basin is literally currently on fire, mm-hmm. and the world is going to die. As is a going result. to end tomorrow due to this. I've seen it blamed on climate change. Mm-hmm. I've seen it blamed on oil companies. Like, I've seen this meme like probably five times now, where it's like, uh, you know. Oh, some Amazon tribe settled, and, and I, I don't even bother. I haven't even bothered to go and like fact check whether the initial part is true because like it, it's just nonsense. Or it like doesn't really matter. S- some tribe in the Amazon settled with big oil to stop them from destroying the Amazon or you know their their home or whatever, and then like oh overnight all of a sudden it's on fire, and I'm like okay, well I just I know I don't even have to look into that to know that that's probably not true, <laughs> right? Yes. So. So at this point, everyone's yelling about the media not covering the Amazon fires, right? As if the Amazon's uh, – it's complete. Well, the New York Times posted an article that I thought was very interesting. A newspaper. Several articles, in fact. A, new, a newspaper which I would describe as a far-left propaganda machine. As Codswallop. Right. <laughs> Basically, not dispro- – and that's what I mean where this is not fake news. Yes, there are lots of fires currently burning in mm-hmm. Brazil and in the Amazon basin. But okay. wait. But what no one tells you when they're yelling about the Amazon being on fire is that, that this happens every single year. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's kind of like the California wildfires. It's been happening for literally thousands of years. Mm-hmm. There are literally trees in the Sierra Nevadas that have evolved to only release the seeds from their cones after they get lit on fire. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty cool. That takes literally millions of years of evolution to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm not talking about California wildfires. That's a different video. I'm talking about Brazil right now. And so even – and, and the, what's – we were talking about the New York Times. What's funny about the New York Times is that they're actually pretty good about putting the information in. Mm-hmm. There's real information in most of their articles. The problem with the New York Times is they do a bunch of editorializing around – the information to make it to skew it in one direction, right? So in in this article I'm talking about, they were basically interviewing a the head of the farmers union in Brazil. So actually, before I get to that, so the point is is that these fires happen pretty much every year, okay? No, not pretty much. They happen every year, and most of them are a result of farmers clearing agricultural land of the crops to begin the next planting season. To re-enrich the soil. So they're mostly areas of the Amazon that are already deforested, that have already had the rainforest cleared for farmland or beef production or soy production or whatever it is. 
and they burn all of the chaff and the leftover stuff to re-enrich the soil and move on to the next crop. Mm-hmm. And yes, you've seen the pictures. There are parts of the rainforest that are on fire, which is a result of it being the dry season, mm-hmm. which is exactly what happens in California and things like that. Okay? So w- the reason this b- annoys me is not because I don't – it's not because I want the Amazon to be on fire, right? I, I don't want the Amazon rainforest to be on fire. But I want the anger and outrage to be focused in the correct direction. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be just simply yelling and angry because the Amazon is on fire. Because that's naturally – just like you shouldn't be mad and angry that there's a forest fire in California because that is a natural cycle, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the question we need to ask is why are the fires burning what is the reason? All of these big specific, but nobody talks about that. They just yell and make well, up conspiracy s- theories about oil companies. <laughs> you see it's on fire. Stop there. Right. Let's let's bring let's, buckets. <laughs> right. And so what's interesting about this is that you know people say, oh well, it's way worse. And that's what it says in your. It's worse than in decades. But if you if you look into that a little bit, and actually Tim Pool, which we will link his video below, did a really good video on this topic, delving spe- into a lot of the specific numbers. I don't want to necessarily rehash in here, um, but basically. They say, oh, it's worse than it's been in decades, but that's based on an average. So, like, they basically averaged all the years from the last, like, 10 or 15 years and then said, well, yeah, this is way worse. Well, yeah, but on an individual basis, it's kind of in the middle. There have been worse – there have been years that over the last 10 years that had way more fires than there are now. Mm -hmm. There have been years that had way less. So when you average all those years together, it brings it to a number slightly below what we have now. But that still leaves it kind of in the middle. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's how they editorialize and make you think that it's way worse than it is. Mm-hmm. Right. So the other thing they do, which I thought was interesting, is that they interviewed the head of the farmers union at the beginning of this, and he basically said, "I don't understand what everybody's yelling about. We literally do this every year. We <laughs> do this to clear space for agriculture and whatever, and to but, feed you Americans, <laughs> right? But they editorialize that by saying." Uh, I, I have it pulled up here. Let me let me because I want to read it specifically. So he they they say that they add the the line he considers. So they say he considers the fires burning in the region a normal part of life. But he's just as a if to imply farmer. from my from my ivory tower in New York City that mm. he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just a poor stupid farmer in Brazil. How could he be he, smart? And he, he thinks this is a normal part of life, but he's insane. And clearly, this is <laughs> ludicrous, right? So, so yeah, they editorialized heavily on that one, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, the what's funny to me about this is the reaction. Basically, Brazil has said f off. Okay, the president of Brazil has said the, the G7 summit, you know, said that they were going to give, I can't remember, like $7 billion to help with the fires. And yeah. President Brazil raised it. Yeah, no thanks. We don't need it. We don't need that. And the farmers in here interviewed, basically all the people in Brazil are saying, yeah, can you just go away? Like, we're <laughs> not interested. So we're not interested in your colonial mindset where you want to tell us what we can do with our land. Like, it's basically a bunch of eco terrorist Americans going to Brazil saying, you got to stop. You can't develop your land. We developed all our land to get to where we are, but you're not allowed to because you're, we, we need you to be poor and ha- so all these trees so we can save this. On a smaller scale, it's you having a fire in your backyard and your neighbor is super uncomfortable with right. it for some reason and calls the fire department. Right. It's like, you need to put this fire and The fire department just shows up and starts hosing down your campfire and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Right, it's that, okay? So we can talk, we can have long discussions about, you know, soy production and beef production and whether, you know, whether and, and deforestation and whether it's sustainable and, and, and all kinds of environmental impact conversations. But like I say so many times about so many other issues, we can't even start to have that conversation if all you can do is sit here and yell, fire bad. Yeah. That's literally what's happening. Fire bad, must stop. Orange man bad for saying fire not bad. Right. And fire bad. And it's just like, it's absolute insanity. And I don't really understand how to get through to people on this one. Because, yeah, if you want to help with the fires, I, there are lots of things you could do. You could stop eating beef. You could stop eating soy because those are the main drivers. But, I mean, the, the Brazilian farmers have said, like, yeah, like, we don't really care about you as Americans. Like, <laughs> they said at the end, like, his direct quote was like, if you don't want to buy our stuff, we'll sell it to China. We don't care. Mm-hmm. That's the point. People should be allowed to develop their land how they want. And and sure, we can have conversations about 
you know, and that's to me the, the other funny part of this is people always you know yell about deforestation. Oh, we we got to stop cutting down trees to build our houses and stuff. It's like, well, you understand that the deforestation comes from agriculture, right? Like when it's people when people cut houses. down trees to make lumber for houses, they're in the business of lumber, which means they're going to plant more trees mm -hmm. so that they can build more houses. People in the agriculture just cut cut it down and they get rid of it. The trees. They don't want the trees, <laughs> right? So yeah, we should be in favor of genetically modified organisms and fertilizers and oh. and and, oh. and and all kinds of these things that most environmentalists you yell and that. are scared about because that will let us have. To have less agricultural land, which more will trees. not have to cut down as many trees. It's it's literally that simple. It's that easy. Done. I fixed it. I can't be. We're this done. Simple. It's over. So, so yeah. I mean, I just this just kind of a quick one. You know, uh, again, I I don't necessarily want to call it fake news because the news itself news. is not fake. Yes, there are fires burning in the Amazon. What's fake about it is the outrage because people are acting like this is not something that happens every year. That this is somehow you know way worse than it ever has been, which is not true. This is, you know, that that it's like the rainforest is on fire versus, well, no, it's actually mostly agricultural land that they're burning and it's intentional. Mm -hmm. and, and the biggest part is they're pretending like, oh, the media is to blame because they're not even reporting. They're trying to cover this up. They're, they're not even talking. They're talking about all this other nonsense. I'm like, no, the media is not talking about this because it happens every year. It's not a story. Right. It's not a story. <laughs> like it. It, it's just nothing. The Great Lakes had waves today. Exactly. Yeah, that would be like me reporting, it was windy in Chicago today. Oh, okay. All right. Do you have something else? No? All right. See you. Moving on. So, yeah. Anyway, the point is, let's uh, let's tone it down a bit here. Let's try to have some... Uh, worry about you know, the real stuff. Let's worry about, like, you know... And I'm not saying that a big forest fire wouldn't be a real thing, but just do 10 seconds of research and figure out, like, oh, this is actually pretty normal. Okay, well, I guess I won't post that stupid meme. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I won't make 12 Facebook statuses about how awful this is and how we need to do something. I won't start a fundraiser to put out the farmer's fire. Right. <laughs> I saw a couple of those. Yeah, I know. Anyway, all right. Ugh. Well, tell us what you think. Leave a comment down below. Share the video. All that kind of good stuff. Um yeah, keep it here at ICBTS, and we'll keep telling you what is and is not fake news. I was about to say spread the truth, but YouTube doesn't like when you use the word truth. Yeah, we in should a video. change our channel name to like Red Pill Truth Forever. <laughs> no, because then we'll get killed. Because <laughs> then we'll just get killed. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, guys. Uh, yeah, ICBTS out.